Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Time for some more Let's Play. Hulk! Hey! Yeah! Hey, Mom! This is Pokemon Go Flood Yourself Emerald. Let's play! Yeah! By me, Flooding Mon 14. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, welcome back, guys. In the last episode, we challenged the second gym. Uh, Brawly with the fighting type gym leader. And we actually failed the first time, but we were more than able to defeat him the second time, so. Yeah, and we got our second gym badge. Oh, Megami, how do you do? This is Cindy speaking. I hope you've been well. I wanted to tell you I just won. My Zigzagoon worked especially hard to get the win. See you again. Well, thank you, Lady Cindy. Huh. Funny, we actually got a phone call to start the last video, too. I wonder if that's going to become a, sort of a theme, you know. We just get a, a random phone call to uh, start each duel. But speaking of that, uh, oh, okay. No one on match call we can rematch at this point. But, uh, um, well, in the last episode, we actually uh, ended by catching... Our next, oh, and Scope apparently has an item here. What have you got for a Scope Repel? Alright. But, um... Hmm. Yeah, uh... Oh, what was the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, we ended by catching a Magikarp, and I'm just gonna check it out for you guys here. See how we did? Dalus. Uh, it's got Swift Swim. Oh, Hasty Nature. Wow, that's really good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, actually, I'm going to start its training now, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, let's just put scope down here. Oh, and that reminds me, um, I forgot to mention another type or another, you know, strategy you could use against the gym, um, you know, if you're having trouble. Uh, it's a bit, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I do want to sell back to Pedalburg, actually. Um, yeah, it takes a bit of work, but if you caught a Wurmple, uh, you know, early in the game and evolved it into uh, Dust Sox, well, really, either one, or um, Beautifly, uh, yeah, that will be very helpful as well, because Dust Sox is part Poison, which resists fighting, and as soon as you evolve it at level 10, it learns Confusion, which is super effective. And then Beautifly learns, uh, oh, another phone call, jeez. Oh, Roxanne, oh, okay, cool. Hello, Megami, this is Roxanne of Rustbell City. I heard from Broly that you're moving up through the ranks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, he told you I kicked his butt, huh? Well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I will ship up my gym so you can challenge us again. Oh, okay. All right, well, uh. Just like that, we register Roxanne, so there we go. Interesting, so uh, apparently word's getting around about our uh, our skizzles. So yeah, that's uh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Alright, no wild Pokemon. Um, oh wait, I don't think I can actually get this item. I just realized I can't get this item yet. Because, well good for you, Jones. You, uh... You recognize, you done recognize for you made yourself a fool. Um, 
Well, I guess we're not going to be getting Magikarp's training right now, then. Uh, back across the sea, Briny. I made a mistake. Uh, but yes, um, I don't know if I'll be able to show it, in, you know, in this, uh, playthrough, since, um, you know, since, uh, since, you know, the, the internal clock is, you know, out, um, I'm not sure if the time functions will work, or even, you know, the poking have, as far as rematching, but yeah, you actually can, uh, rematch the, uh, gym leaders in this, uh, game, so, uh, don't know if I'll be able to show it or not, but, uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, we'll just put Magic Card back in the box, because, <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there, and, I mean, I guess I could switch it out and everything, but, you know, eh, nah, you know, we fight every wild battle, and, yeah, that's, uh, yep, yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, you guys will see where I was going there, <laughs> though, here in a minute, once we get out of this cave, uh, as far as with the training, uh, but for now, let's just go, uh, yeah, let's just go in here, and now we enter this cave, and this is Granite Cave, all right. What do you get? Hey, you. It gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. The guy who came by earlier. Steven, I think it was. He knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright. But, uh, well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. So here you go. I'll pass this on to you. And he gives us HMO5. Teach that hidden move Flash to a Pokemon to use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the GM badge from Deford's Pokemon Gen. Well, we just got that, bro. So, thank you very much. Alright, so, yes, right away, we will... And teach Flash, yes. We will teach it to our Tracer, JJ. Because Flash is a pretty crappy move, and... You can't delete it for a while. You know, a while, Brian. So, uh, yeah. Don't want any of our good Pokemon to learn. Uh, no one can learn bulk up. That's kind of unfortunate. I will check later on that though and see if um. Oh wow, Floodmon can learn Rock Tomb. Huh. Interesting. Uh. You know. Uh. Why not? Um. Learn this. Let's see what he has right now. <laughs> Growl. Yeah. That's. <laughs> yeah, uh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll get rid of Growl for that. I mean, I mean, why not? I'll probably replace that move later, but uh, and for now, it, it's kind of good. So uh, thank you. Uh, but oh yeah, yeah. And by the way, I did look up uh as far as uh Tad Lily's moves here. Uh, we don't want her to evolve until level. I think it's like thirty-one. She learns Rain Rain Dance all by herself. Um, yeah, so, we're gonna hold off evolving until then, uh, if at all possible. Uh, now, Granite Cave here, um, oh, and there's a Makuhita. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Makuhita's pretty good, as you guys saw from the gym, uh, and if you want to catch it, I mean, uh, hey, why not, man, it's, uh, it's pretty good, you know, if you train it right, critical hit, man, <laughs> Like, Floodmon14, that was crazy, that other video. He kept putting out critical hits for some reason. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why, but, um, good timing. Uh, you know, better than ever. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, uh, also you can find in this cave... Okay, and here's the point where we need to use Flash, definitely. Whoa. Well, it's got so much glare on it, I can't even see it right now. But I will use Flash. Hopefully that will... Yeah, it's a good thing I did the gym first, because hopefully that will take some of the glare away. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, uh... Oh, and there's Sableye. Yeah, this is the Pokemon I was talking about. Uh, yeah, if you are having trouble with uh, Deerford's gym, this guy is available right here. And he's Ghost-type, so... Like I was saying, he's... Go well, he's actually Ghost and Dark-type, meaning he has no weakness... 
pretty good type. Uh, yeah, uh, Sableye is here. Yeah, and there's Nightshade. Yeah, see, so he already comes with Nightshade. And that's good, too, because um, Nightshade does fixed damage, meaning it won't be, you know, decreased by all his bulk ups. And Ghost in this game is, all Ghost type moves are considered to be, uh, nice, level 15, to be physical type moves. Oh, and it's going to learn Bite. <laughs> well, now I feel kind of stupid because I just shot Rock Tomb and it's... Uh, I probably would have deleted Growl for that, but what does Bide do? Endures? Yeah, it's actually a really good move. Uh, well, I mean, I'll get rid of Tackle. Yeah, Tackle sucks, so, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, Flood. Uh, but, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, Sableye? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sableye, yeah, it comes with, uh... Yeah, nightshade there so I mean you may want to do that uh, you know if you're just oh and I think I didn't mention this either but um yeah the second gym Brawly's gym it's completely you know skippable uh, believe it or not now Pokemon if you've ever played any of the other other games you know red and blue gold and silver Pokemon is notorious, notorious. Oh, and here's uh, Aron, another very good Pokemon, by the way. But Pokemon is no notorious for having long, extensive dungeons. Um, particularly like Rock Tunnel, in which you need to use Flash. Um, this game, I don't know why a lot of people hate on this game because actually, this game, you don't need to. Really, this is one of the few dungeons there is, and it's a short one at that. In fact, you really don't even need Flash in here. You could probably navigate, you know, without it. Um, so, there's that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the uh, second gym is actually perfectly skippable. I mean, all it lets you do... Oh, nice. It's red with 1 HP. And we'll probably go ahead and catch you, Aron. You know, just to... Just to uh, throw you in the Pokedex. But yeah, it's perfectly skippable. Uh, you know, if you need to, you know, move on and get some levels before taking on Brawly. Uh, because all it lets you do is use Flash outside of battle. So there's that too. Uh, so really, you have a lot of options for the second gym. Uh, not too many for the first. Uh, anyway. Iron, the Iron Armored Pokemon. A Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron products. Cool. Alright, uh, nickname? Nah. <laughs> yeah, put him with the extras. But, uh, yeah, so there's that as well. That option that I didn't mention, so, yeah. Oh, and it's a zoo, bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Zubat gets so much hate. You know, just because, uh, you know, they're in a Silphco Silf and, well, really everywhere in red, blue, and yellow. And uh, later, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Pretty much every Team Rocket member used some kind of poison type, right, and then used, like, a Zubat. Or, you know, something else that's just complete, you know, crap. So, yeah, Zubat gets a lot of hate, but it's actually... i probably actually recommend every single Pokemon you can find in this cave. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Every single one will help your team. Because you think about it, Sableye has no weakness. I mean, that's pretty cool. And I think Sableye is probably... Let me think of how many of the first five gems it could own. Well, really, all of the gems. Um, it's definitely good against the second. Uh, the third and fourth, not so much. But then, yeah, the fifth, yeah, yeah, because it's Ghost and Dark type. Yeah, the fifth. Yeah, if you keep raising it, I don't think the fifth gym leader would give you any trouble at all. And that's that's surprising, considering, you know, if you guys know who I'm talking about, good for you. Uh, also, the. Yeah, yeah, the sixth gym leader? Yeah, because that's psychic, right? Oops, spoilers. Uh, but, <laughs> oh, speaking of psychic, and Abra's in this cave as well. Yeah, 
Kadabra Alakazam. I mean, need I say more? Uh, no, they're, they're good, man. Yeah, pretty much any... And yeah, okay, Zubat's not very good. I, I, I grant you that. Zubat is not very good. Oh, and we pick up an Everstone here, hidden in this rock. Zubat is not very good. But if you have the patience, much like we're going to have to have with Magikarp, and the willpower to get it to a Crobat, oh, now you're talking top-notch Pokemon. Um, and what other Pokemon can you find here? Oh yeah, Hariyama, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, it's, as you saw, it's strong, bulky, uh, has a lot of HP, really sturdy, and, um, you know, quite powerful. So, you know, if you teach it the right moves and, you know, don't sit here and spam focus energy five times like the AI does with it, you know, it's very good. <laughs> Wow, another crit flood. Wow, you just you you you're um you're going all out here. I love it, man. Thanks. But uh yeah. Uh oh yeah, and there's also another Pokemon in here you can catch. Uh what is it? Uh the Geo dude. Yeah, yeah. And um uh ground type uh good to have, especially well, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it. The next gym is actually part uh, electric type. So if you want to catch a... <gasps> okay, something, something good is about to happen here. You want to let this happen. So just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Flood Mine evolved into Flood Tom or Flood Stomp, Marsh Stomp. Oh yeah, it's gonna learn Mud Shot. Oh yeah, man. Yes, and with that, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Flood Mine is part Ground type. Uh, yeah, Mud Shot 55. Yeah, Mud Slap's only like 20 power, so uh, we'll get rid of Mud Slap. It's kind of. Uh, Outlived its usefulness, so there we go. But shot, sweet. All right. Well, uh, uh, I that that's a good thing. Um, well, as I was saying, well, we have some plot stuff here, so let's talk about the plot stuff. Hello, my name is Stephen. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, so you're a spelunker, eh? Oh, a letter for me. Yes, there we go. And part one of our mission is done. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Very well, I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Here we go, TM 47. Yeah. Your Pokemon appear to be quite capable. Oh, 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 oh okay, dude. I don't know how you can see my Pokemon when they're. And they're Pokeballs, but alright. <clears throat> if you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. Oh, cool, yeah. yeah. I'll register you, bro. Hey, you know, maybe uh, maybe this guy's just a nice guy and he'll uh, call us and give us another TM. Um, yeah, 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 I'll take that. Alright, and uh, he gave us Steel Wing, and... Um, you know, can anyone learn this? You know what? Probably Salty can. Yeah. Yeah, Salty, sad to say, is not going to be on the team much longer. But, uh, I mean, wh why not give it Steel Wing? I, eh, he, he deserves it after that that awesome, you know, gym battle fight with Brawly. So, there you go, Salty. Thanks, buddy. You will be forever remembered, sir. Oh, and what a scope got for us? Escape rope. Alright, uh, so where was I, what was I talking about? I kind of forgot. Oh, right, right, next gym, yeah. Uh, the next gym is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, um, spoilers, electric type. So, it will be good to have a ground type, or something that knows, no, 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 you actually want a ground type. It'll make it that much easier because, as you know, 
as you know, or maybe you don't know, ground types completely, and I mean completely immunize ground types. So, yeah, there's that, so. Zoo, bitch! What are you doing, man? Alright, we'll use a water gun. Oh, man. Such a good feeling. Flood Mon finally evolved, too. Yep. Yeah, believe it or not, that probably would have helped in the gym battle as well. You know, having your start evolved. Uh, and speaking of starters evolving, yeah, I think I forgot to mention that as well in the last episode. But, uh, you know, if you start with Torchic and, you know, are just having a hard time and don't want to do any of the other options I suggested, well, get Torchic up to level, I think it's like 16. And then he learns Peck, which is a flying type move. Uh, not as strong as Wing Attack, but yeah, better than nothing. And then you'll have that. And then you can also evolve him at level 16 into Combuskin. So there you go. Alright, so we're going to heal at the Pokemon Center real quick. And then uh, we are going to get our reward for delivering this letter. What say you? I say yes. All right, good to see you again. You, you. <laughs> oh man. What what could I say? Oh yes, and now that we've delivered the letter, now you can see he'll take us to Slateport as well. Uh, but before Slateport, I need to go back for something. And yes, this is why I had started to go back in the start of the video, but. Uh, I forgot we had to, this can only be done once you deliver the letter to Steven, so yes, be sure and do that first if you are, you know, playing along, following along, so. Oh man, this beginning of the game music, it's just like so, I don't know, it's so, you know, <laughs> it's so cool. But yeah, some of the things Brock would say about Nurse Joy, oh man, he was all over the ladies. It was surprising to me that Pokemon even put that in there, you know? <laughs> you know, the fact that he hits on basically, not just Nurse Joy, but you know, any hot girl that has a pulse, <laughs> you know? To complete a, to put a complete, you know, chauvinist like that in a Pokemon game, in a Pokemon you know, a series, uh, basically a children's show, that's, uh, that's pretty questionable, but, uh, I don't know, I like him, of course, I mean, I always thought he was, you know, funny and stupid, or, you know, as a kid, you know, you really don't understand some of the, some of the stuff, you know, about between men and women, but I always just thought it was funny, you know, how, how he would get, you know, shut down every time by Nurse Joy, or, or, you know, whatever, or just was, would do silly stuff, you know, it, it was just silly, so, uh, don't know why I went in there, oh, by the way, that lady I was talking to, um, yeah, if the time function does work on your game, uh, she'll give you a new berry every day, so I think that's what I was, uh, you know, sort of, uh, doing there, but, uh, anyway, do, 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 do. and here we are back in Restboro City, now you may be thinking, oh, Roxanne called you, are you going to, uh, are you going to rematch her, dude? What are you going to, what are you going to do? Um, well, no, no, you're wrong. Um, although she is here on our Pokenav, what we want to do now is, uh, what we want to do is go into this building here, the Devon Corporation, yes. Because if you remember, the president asked us to deliver this letter, so let's see what he's got to say now that that's all done. What's up, Perez? You delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you. A traitor. And we get the experience here. This early in the game, that is great. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. 
Uh, yeah, and the Pokemon that holds the XP share will be given some of the experience points in battle with actually, without actually having to battle. So, yeah. Step one on how to train your Levia Dragon, Daedalus, is take this item off of scope. Yes, that is step one. No, <laughs> no, no, but uh, yeah, that is step one. Uh, completing that quest, getting the experience share, and then that way... You can put that on Magikarp, and yeah, uh, that is a great way to train them. So, well, with that, I think we're actually going to end the video here in Respiro City. Uh, and in the next episode, I'll, well, I don't know if I'll be doing the bonus parts or not, but uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in Duford, basically, and uh we will finally move on from the island. The island, where is it? I don't know, but uh, seriously, <laughs> I want to thank all of you for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.